is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, perhaps we finally have an amendment that we can all support. This amendment would prohibit funds in Subtitle A from being used to purchase products containing critical minerals mined in areas controlled by the Taliban. Now, Mr. Chairman, in 2010, the Department of Defense identified $1 trillion worth of undeveloped mineral deposits in Afghanistan. They are now estimated to be worth $3 trillion and referred and the Department of Defense referred to the country as the Saudi Arabia of lithium. And lithium is a key ingredient in batteries for electric vehicles, grid storage, solar powers, wind turbines, and, and, and other energy technologies. But as you know, the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan last month left that country in the control of the Taliban, as well as its mineral deposits. And just hours after the Taliban took control, China stated they were ready for, quote, friendly cooperation with Afghanistan. And just, just remember, China dominates the global market for these minerals. They mine over 70% of the world's rare earths and are responsible for 90% for of the processing. China already has a 30-year lease on an Afghan copper deposit, and China's interest in Afghan minerals will continue to grow. Mr. Chairman, eliminating the U.S. reliance on the Chinese and Taliban for minerals is a bipartisan issue that all of us should be able to support. China previously threatened to cut off supplies of the rare earth elements to the United States in 2019, and Congress should never Never let the United States be vulnerable like that again. Mr. Chairman, I urge adoption of my amendment and request a recorded vote. So anyone else?